the Lord. Amen? Amen. Then we all stand up. Let's just all stand up and just shake our thumb, okay? Okay, I'm going to give you 60 seconds. Oh, Lord. Okay, 60 seconds to praise our God. We're going to lift our voice. We're going to lift our hands. We're going to shout and give praise to our Almighty God, okay? All right? Ready? One, two, three. Hallelujah, Lord. We praise you and we glorify your holy name, O oh God. You deserve the highest praises, O oh Lord. Be the center of it all. Be the center of this church, O oh God. Father, we exalt you for your name is above all names, O oh God. And there is no name given under heaven, but only by your name, dear Jesus, that we will be saved, O oh God. Father, we thank you, O oh God, that we have the Our Lord. Amen. Amen. He is good and He's mighty. He's faithful. He is an ever changing God. He's always constant. He's always the same. He never changed. His faithfulness oh, is greater than life. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So today, you know, I, I heard for the past uh, few weeks you've been talking about faith. Uh, Kat spoke about faith. Am I right? And then Pastor Josephine last week talked about faith and it was so funny I was preparing something in regards with faith also so today I will share you my heart I will share you my testimony okay so I hope you will be blessed this morning okay I was gonna say I hope you will be blessed this afternoon I hope you will be blessed this morning with the words that I'm going to share with you okay um, who experienced storm here like but I Sorry. Nakaka-experience na, ng bagyo sa buhay? Yes. Amen. Well, uh, meron bang exempted dito? Meron bang wala? So it means na makakapag-relate tayo with one another kasi lahat tayo may experience natin sa buhay niyan, di ba? Na there are things that it doesn't make sense, right? No matter how you look at it, it just, you know, it doesn't make sense. You know, sometimes, you know, you're doing everything, you're serving God, but still, you will experience, you will face difficulty, you will face challenges, a storm will come in our way. Yeah. Right? Isn't it true? Yeah. Hindi tayo exempted dun, kahit sabihin mo na, na tayo, we are a true sons in the house, we're, you know, we're, 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 we're working in the vineyards of the Lord, but yet still, storms will come in our way. Yeah. But the most important thing is, how are we going to face this storm? How we are going to react? And how are we going to unmute it in our lives? Right? Amen. Yun kasi ang most important this is kung paano natin dadali nyo sa buhay natin. Yung storm na yun sa buhay natin. Diba? The storm could be in your marriage. Yung storm it could be in your finances. The storm it could be in your relationship. It could be in your job. And for a lot of students are here, a lot of young people, it could be in regards with your studies, right? There's always storm, there's a difficulty in school, there's peer pressure, there's bullying at school, right? All these things are happening because sometimes we want to fit in in our, in our school, right? When, when is, so the question is, where is our faith when the storm of life comes, right? The saan kaya yung faith natin when the storm overcomes us? Yung bang na, nasasakal na tayo, natatakyo ba na tayo, nasaan kaya yung faith natin? And how do we respond when a weather alert of a massive storm is just, in, is just right in front of us? Paano kaya tayo mag, mag-react? Pag nandito na yung storm na yung record on guard. Di ba ang hirap no? Nung no, no, nagjijump ka na, nung no, bigla na lang. Oo. Kasi yung sometimes is storm, in, in Canada it could be so nice today, then later on it could be really so cold. Yung change of weather. 
It could, you know, and it, it could happen in our lives that instantly we to change in situation natin. And the storm is just right in front of us, right? Sometimes, di ba, do we run and escape from it? Or do we freeze and do nothing? Right? See, in November 2013, the strongest tropical cyclones ever recorded devastating portions of Southeast Asia, particularly Philippines, uh, uh, happened here. It's the, uh, uh, yung, yung storm Yolanda, or Hayan, we call it in North America, Hayan, but it's called here as the Yolanda, right? It was, um, it, it killed at least 60,000 people or more, like at the end of 2000, uh, 2013, it was recorded as 6,300 people were killed, and in the early 2014, there were more people found dead. So right now, I don't know the record, but it was the most, it was the most recorded, you know, the stated um, storm here in the Philippines. Uh, Haiyan is also the strongest storm recorded at landfall, and the strongest typhoon ever recorded in terms of one minute sustained wind speed. Ang lakas ng hangin no? It's very strong daw. Kaya marami yung na, nasalanta during Haiyan's uh, typhoon. Uh, maraming naapektuhan. Hindi lang yung kabuhayan, kundi nawalan din sila ng mga loved ones. Diba? Right? When Typhoon Yolanda were approaching uh, Philippines, yung parating na siya dito sa Pilipinas, everyone, every area that would be affected were um, were chaos. Nagkaroon lang yung talagang ano sila, yung natataranta sila, hindi nila alam gagawin nila. Some people really yung nag-store sila ng so much water or some people yung mga uh, resources nila, yung buy food na nawalan talaga ng pagkain sa mga groceries kasi they were so scared. They were on a panic mode talaga. Like, there was such chaos at that time kasi people were really preparing for that uh, massive storms going to happen, right? And and some of uh, some of the people packed their stuff and really left their homes. You know, and they evacuated the place, right? But some people stay. They stay in their home. Bakit? Kasi natatapos sila na mawala yung kanilang ari-arian, di ba? Mawala yung yung bahay nila sa mga kukuha, di ba? But you know, uh, and but some people really ran away and 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 uh, response to the emergency alert at that time. See, a call for help and prayers were, were rallied, rallied at that time. Talagang, even us in, in Canada, really, that when we heard the storm were coming, we could see in the news, we could see the eye of the storm. It was really, you could tell it was going to be a really, really big one, a great one. So talagang nandudunan yung talaga ng everyone, all the brethren, all the body of believers were, were came in unity praying. Praying for the Philippines, praying for the storm not to happen, praying that the Lord will just yung ano niya, yung talagang divert niya in other place para hindi ma mangyari. And but still, it happened here in the Philippines, and we saw the result of that storm. Okay, and uh, so, same thing in our lives, you know, when when we face a storm is in our life, sometimes we don't know what to do. Sometimes we waste all our energy, we use all our uh, our resources, right, in, in what to do. But meanwhile, there is a God who is in control of everything. Amen? Amen. 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 So let's read our uh, text for today. If you may stand in reverence in the Word of God, please. And we will read it all together if we could. Let me show it in the screen. Oh, it's here. Okay, praise God. So, uh... All right, and it's in Mark chapter 4, 35 to 41. Let's read. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious whale came up, and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern. Sleeping on a cushion, the disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? 
they were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Let's bow our head in a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for your word. So, Father, for this morning, I pray for your Holy Spirit to be upon us, to give us the understanding and the illuminations of your word. So, Father, that would cause transformation in each and everyone's life that is here this morning. Father, I pray that you have your way in this place. Father, give us an expectant heart that we will expect something great and mighty is going to happen in each and every one of us, oh God. Father, I pray and I leave up to you this servant of yours, oh God. Hide me behind the cross of your son Jesus so that only his righteousness and his grace will be seen upon me, oh God. Father, may your words, oh Father, will be a living rhema to each and every one of us that we will walk in it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Jesus Let's asked the disciples to go across Amen. to the other yeah. side of the lake. Prior to this event, um, they were doing ministry. So they seen miracles already had happened at that time. Okay? Uh, they're feeding thousands of people, healing them, and doing miracles, as I said. People were all over him at this at that time. Jesus was probably so tired already. That's why he asked his disciple, let's go to the other side of the lake. And at that time, when they were on the uh, middle of the uh, uh, the lake, actually, uh, the Galilee actually is the lake, it's not the sea, okay? But there is no, the Hebrew term, there is no English word for that, for the sea, that's why it's called, and for the lake, that's why it calls uh, Sea of Galilee. So at that time, um, in the middle of the lake, they encountered a surprising great storm, okay? Causes the disciple to panic. And they woke Jesus up. They panicked, but meanwhile, Jesus was there. Jesus was in the boat with them. They were with Jesus all the time. They see Jesus perform miracles. But yet, when that storm came, when that rushing wind came, they all panicked. And they caused them to wake Jesus up. Okay? And, and, um, Jesus rebuked the wind and the raging waves, and Jesus said to them, Where is your faith? So at this time, we could ask ourselves, Where is our faith when we are in the storm? Right? So every moment of our life, Kasama natin na Panginoon, Jesus is there with us. But meanwhile, when the storm of life comes unto us, na nakakalaw tayo ng ano, na natatabunan tayo ng mga uh, clouds na sa, sa isipan natin at nakakalimutan natin na mayroong Panginoon at the storms when we are in the middle of the storm. So, my question for you this morning, can we still praise Him in the storm? Can you still lift up your hand and say, God, you are Almighty God. You are the sovereign. You are in control of my life. And whatever situations that are in right at this moment, you could turn it around for your glory and your glory alone. Can we able to say that really honestly in our lives when we are in this storm? Okay. Can we still lift our hands and say, Father, I will lift you up. I will exalt you. I will lift you in this storm of my life. No matter who, who you are, at what age you are, you can look back over your life and see that the life is not all sweet and good, right? It's not everything uh, sweet, sweet and good. And being a Christian is not all bed of roses, right? Really, God will bring you through these storms for certain reasons. Because God wants to build certain character in us. Once God wants to reflect His life unto us. So we need to go through all those journey in our lives so that it will build character in us. Amen? And for those things are only for the glory of Him. Amen? Not for us. Okay? Our life can change from one moment to the next, just like in our text this morning. From smooth sailing to a stormy sea, and that change can throw our world upside down and turn inside out. But the good news is, God said in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2, says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. Yung overwhelm, di ba? Yung, yung, yung na, natatabunan ka na. Yung, yung nadadrown ka na. Kasi overwhelm ka na. So they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. And the flame shall not consume you. 
Amen. Praise God. So no matter what, so when we go through that storm, God is still God. God is still there, right? Kahit na yung sabi mo na hindi yung yung the water that surpassing kahit na from the moment from from our from our um ankle to our knees to our waist to our shoulder, you know. But we will be still and know that God is there. Amen. So when we meet, when we are in the midst of the storm, and the water is filling up, and when we are in danger, the first thing that we should remind ourselves that God is God. He is in control. No matter what, God is God. He is sovereign. He is almighty. He is the never changing God. He is the God of yesterday, today, and forevermore. His promises stand still. Whatever he say is done and it's amen. His word will not return to him to him void, but it will accomplish its purposes in our lives. So whatever it is, we will say God is God and He is in control. So no matter what situation you are in right now, whatever storms in life that you are in right now, malaki masya, is storm number one, number two, number three. But all we could say to ourselves and to our soul that God is in control. Amen? Amen. God is a never changing God. Amen? Amen? So God says, I will be with, with you until the end of ages and He will be with us until the end of ages. Amen? Amen. His words will, will not... Um, will never change. Amen? He will never change. God never changed. He's still there. He is a faithful God. Amen? Amen. Praise God. So in Psalms chapter 46 verse 10 said, Be still and know that I am God. So kahit na yung ang hirap hirap ng sitwasyon natin sa buhay na, so especially in the Philippines talagang ang hirap ng buhay, isn't it? Right? And even na sabihin natin na we are from the other side of the world, but when we come here, we could feel it. We could feel yung, yung, yung nararanasan ng mga kababayan natin. And we could feel then yung nararanasan ng ating mga kapatiran. Amen? We are not, we are not immune from that. So even when we're facing those, we see that, you know, we, we feel you. We feel what our countrymen, you know, our, you know, our brother and sister feel because, because of the hardship here in life. Because, because you know why? If everything is so expensive in the Philippines, somehow it's very expensive. It is very expensive. Sabi ko, ha? Sabi ko, isa ka na din, hindi naman ako gumagasas ng ganito pa, at araw-araw na din ang ginagasas ko. Sabi ko, pag nabariyahan mo na yung 1,000 mo, wala na. Pag talitin mo, wala na. Sabi ko, <laughs> and I brought dollar with me, right? Isn't it real? Isn't it true? How much more? Na, because uh, kayo, you, you use Pesos, di ba? Pesos, ganun din. The more na mas mahira talaga, di ba? So, you know, uh, but you know what we could say in, in, in you, in our situations right now, we could say still, I will be just still and know that God is in control. Uh, all we could do is be still. Sometimes, yung mga anak natin, you know, uh, we don't have kids, but I work with children. I could feel... I could feel yung, yung nararamdaman ng mga parents nila pag misakit yung anak nila. Sometimes that is their storm. Hindi ba? Hindi nila alam kung saan nila kukunin yung ipapagamot nila sa anak nila. Uh, they don't know where to turn to. And, and the sad thing is, here in the Philippines, you, you, you know, pag pumunta ka sa hospital, they won't admit you until you have collateral or you have ma money to show to them, right? Ang hirap, di ba? So in, in Canada, meanwhile, in Canada, everything is free. Free hospitalization, you know, all those things. But here, ang hirap, right? But you know what? In this situation, we know we could be still because we know God is our healer. Amen? He is our Jehovah Rapha. Amen? He said in His word in Exodus, He said, I am the God that healed thee. So, sinabi ng Panginoon yun, so it means, totoo yun. Yun ang pangahawakan natin. So we could be still and know that He is God and He is in control. So in our situation, God is still God. God is God and He is in control. He is a sovereign God. He is the Almighty God. So even though may mga problema sa buhay natin, all we could do is speak to our soul. Speak to our spirit. Speak to our soul and say, God is in control. By the stripe of Jesus, we are healed. Amen? So yun ang mapapaghawakan natin if there's may mga masasakit sa katawan natin o may meron may sakit sa mahal natin sa buhay. Amen? And also sa 
sometimes sa kahirapan ng buhay natin, it's so hard and it's so difficult. You know what? We could always say, God is my provider. He is my Jehovah Jireh. Amen? Amen? Amen. He said, ask and it shall be given to you. Diba? Seek and it shall be found. Knock and it shall be opened to, uh, to us. All we have to do is seek God. All we have to do is ask God. Sabi nga niya sa Jeremiah, Call upon me and I will answer you. Hindi naman yung call upon me. Di ba? Hindi naman long distance, you know. God is only pray, one prayer. Di ba? Ang hirap. Noon ang hirap. Di ba? Mag-long distance ka ba? Ngayon mag-text ka na lang, mag-messenger na lang. Ang dali-dali na, di ba? How much more are God Almighty? Amen? You got that? Na hindi din po natin yun. See, you know what? Um, I, like what I said, I was gonna share my testimony. So in in, in here, in the year 2007, wow, uh, we were called in the pastoring ministry. So we were ordained as the youth and young adult pastor. So myself and Pastor Henry. Oh, by the way, Pastor Henry gave, gave his love to each and every one. He said hello to everyone. Amen. Praise, praise God. So at that time, he was still fully convinced that his calling wasn't a pastor. He, he said, I'm a worship leader. He stand up that he is a worship leader at that time. And he was, um, he was so adamant that his calling was in a worship ministry. So I remember that time that he would always uh, reason out with, with Mama E. Because Mama E said, no, you're a pastor. No, 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 no. I'm a, dito lang ako. Sa worship lang. Uh, ano lang ako, support lang ako. O, oh, magbibigay lang ako. Okay lang magbigay. Sabi niya lang. And then, and then, uh, Pastor Jerry, Pastor Jerry would always say, just let him be. Let God confirm that to him. So that was the word of Pastor Henry. And uh, until one day, God closed all his resources. Sinarado niya yung resources kay Pastor Henry. He caused something to lose his job. A well-paying job in a prestigious company. Pastor Jerry, ay Pastor Jerry, and he, Pastor Henry siya yung um, beneficial ng other company because they like them, uh, they like him to work with them. Dano siya yung kung, kung kano ka hindi man siya, gusto nila siya magtrabaho sa kanya. So nagdibiding sila kung, oh, makano bang offer nila nga? But you know what? When God closed the door, no one can open it. Right? When, the, when God shut the door, no one could offer, uh, we could open to uh, in God. Uh, all of a sudden, he couldn't land a job in the same professions. I knew right there and then, it was God. It was His divine uh, intervention. Right at that time, I knew it was God calling him already to be a full-time pastor at that time. And it was really a confirmation of his calling as a pastor. Even though it was God's plan for him, I was still afraid and worried of what is going to happen to us. Right? When the day Pastor Henry told me uh, about that he was let go of the company, I was in shock. Um, I cried. I really cried. I couldn't barely move. Although I was praying for him, this I don't like me. I was praying for him, right? That the Lord will really, that he will really, really get that confirmation. But meanwhile, when that time came, ako yung natako. Sabi ko paano na yung paano na tayo? Sabi ko paano na tayo? Sabi niya puto ako ni Pastor Henry. And he said, "Han, we're okay." And he said, "God is in control. He is in control at that time." Every morning. As soon as I open my eyes, I will say, Great is thy faithfulness, Lord God Almighty. There is no shadow of turning from thee. All I had needed, that hand had provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto thee. Amen. Lulang tinakanta ko, Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord God Almighty. Sorry, ah. There is no shadow turning from thee. All I have needed, thy hand have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto thee. Yes, indeed. Great is thy faithfulness. Every morning, 
Ugali pa sa you, as I open my eyes, I would like, I love worshiping God. I will worship Him and I will sing to you, to Him. Pray is thy faithfulness, O God. Morning, but there is no, because you know what, the tendency sometimes when we're, when we are in a certain situation that is so difficult, yung, yung storm in life na talagang is so much, is so big, sometimes the tendency is we run away from God. But you know what, that is not, that is not the solution. But the more we hold on to God, the more we hold on to His promises when those things come into our way. Amen. So I encourage you, brother and sister. So when the, when you are facing and you are facing in the storm at this very moment, just hold on to the promises of God because He is faithful. He is faithful. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God in our text today was saying the disciple were with Jesus at the time of the storm. Jesus was there and they still experienced storm. So even though we walk with with Jesus, still we are going to face storm of life. Amen? Hindi tayo exempted. Sabi nga dun sa kanta ng Alon Pression, the storm, I was sure by now, God, you would have reached down and wiped our tears away, step in and save the day. But once again, I say, Amen. And it's still raining. Sometimes, you know what? Yes, Lord, I said Amen to your words. But still, it's still, there is still, the rain's still doesn't stop. It's still there. The storm is still there, you know. But you know what? Today, I will say, even though you call out, you cry out to God, you know, and, and you leave your name, you leave your hands on Him and just say, Amen. You know, the storm is still there. I would just say to you, put your hope in God. Put your hope in God. Not in your own resources. Not in your own abilities. Not with your friends. No, not with your boss, not with the doctor, but you put your hope in God. In Psalm chapter 42, verse 5, say, Why, why are you downcast, O my, my soul? Put your hope in God. Sabi, why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior or my, and my God. And in Psalm 142, says, verse 3 says, when our heart is overwhelmed, lead us to the rock that is higher than us. Kasi wala naman tayo talagang masasabihan na, who is that rock that is higher than us? That is Jesus. Jesus is the answer to all our longing. Jesus is the only answer to all our prayer. Jesus is the answer to all our questions in life. And Jesus is all the only answer to all the problems we have. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen? Let's give a clap of here. So you could think, kala mo natapos na doon yung storm namin, no? Then the Lord again bring us, parang nasa storm, uh, nasa, nasa, ano ka lang, uh, sa, ano ba yung tinatang mo, one and two? Signal one, nasa signal number two ka na, no? So at that time, uh, we were ra raising money kasi we were building, uh, we were um, uh, purchasing, purchasing a, bu a building at that time. So, uh, nag-raise kami ng funds, so, uh, most of us, yung mga leaders, the pledge. Ang the Lord spoke to me. Ang pinapublish pledge na sa akin yung bahay namin. The Lord said, "You have to give up your home." And I said, "Lord, but this is my dream home. I love gardening, Lord. I like this house." Nakikipag bargain na ako sa Lord. Lord, magpuna Lord. Let it be so, Lord. Pag ginib ako na, let it be na. It is well with my soul. But you know what? God is good. Inayaan nila ako at that time. But the Lord is saying, give up your home. Yan ang pledge mo. Yan ang ibigay mo. So, to make the story short, ginig up namin yung bahay namin at that time. Uh, at first, it was so difficult for me to surrender our house. I don't know. Ano yun eh? Parang kung baga sa ano, yun yung security ko eh. Yun yung refuge mo. Yun ang bahay mo, di ba? And then, but you know what? Mas mahal ko ang Panginoon. Yeah. You know, ayoko ma-disappoint ang Panginoon sa akin. I know these things are only materials, but but God has a great, more greater things for us. Diba kung ano man ang give up natin, like yung, kung ano man ang pinag-give up natin ng Panginoon sa atin, you know what? God is greater. Yeah. Diba? Ang sarap-sarap sabi ko, Lord, although may hirap pa rin kung bagay sa parang <laughs> nagtitigil ka, no? But and yet, you know what? 
mas hindi natin ma-outgive ang Lord eh. Di ba? We can't outgive God. And He is, has far more plan for each and every one of us. That's why I just want to encourage you this morning. And uh, so that time I said, Lord, okay. Then one day I said to God, Lord, it is well with my soul. You can have my house. So I gave up my home. He gave away, sa, sa words niya, we gave away most of our stuff and moved to our friend's house. At that time, we, we give, we, we, pinamigay na namin lahat yung mga gamit namin and everything that we had. And uh, from a big house to a tiny room. Okay? But the word of God says, all I, I could do is just encourage myself to Him. He is the God who gives and He is the God who takes away. Right? From signal 1 to signal 2. What we have right now is only temporary. But what God has for us, those are eternal. Those are precious. So we just have to encourage in the Lord when we are facing in all those situations that, you know, God, you have far more greater plan for me. Mas maganda pa yung ibibigay mo sa akin. Mas maganda pa yung plan mo para sa akin. And uh, so at that time, Yung ano pa, uh, so, and we moved to an apartment building. And uh, one, one time, yung, uh, in the, I was so excited to go because I, at that time, I, I know I have an evening clinic at that time. So I know, pagdating ko, ma, baka makita ko si Pastor Henry sa, sa, sa garage namin. So, oh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna see honey at this time sa garage. Makikita kami. So, tama-tama nga, pag yung pasok ko sa garage namin, nandito siya, nakatayo siya sa, sa by his car, and then, and I could tell something, you know, you could, you could discern it. Hindi ba? I could tell there's something not right at that time. And then he was standing there, and I said, Hi, Han, and he goes, Han, he goes, they lock us out. Nilock kami ng ano, ng, 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 ng super. Sabi ko, bakit? I don't know, he lock us out. Then all our stuff is in that in that apartment building, and I was and then I went back in my car and I start crying and I said to Pastor, "Han, just hold on for a minute." I went inside my car and I start crying and I was crying and I was crying and I was crying and I said, "Come, I have hope. I uh, I welcome missionaries. I I welcome people in our home. Those who are in the." process of, of um, buying new homes but they're not ready yet and yet they already sold their house they stay I allow them to stay in my home but now I don't have any you know how could they lock you know us out and um, and I, I was my I had my head down and I was praying and I was crying you know what the Lord told me ako nga walang una na hinigaan Ako nga walang una na hinihigaan. And then yan, I was saying, you God, ako nga, yun nga, yung nag, ano, nag uh, sinasabi ko sa Lord, bakit ngayon wala ako, no? Meron ako nang bakit ngayon wala. But at that, you know, I don't wanna question God. I cannot say to God, why me, Lord? Eh, kung sagutin nga tayo ng Panginoon, bakit hindi ikaw? <laughs> Di ba? Why not you, right? It was a fact of that. Say, why me, Lord? Why me? Bakit baby ikaw? You know? And then we will always say, you know why? Because God loves us so much. Because God wants to build character in us. Kaya ikaw pinili niya. Kasi alam ng Panginoon, kaya mo. Amen? Alam ng Panginoon na mamuhod ka pa, mapapassion ka pa niya. You know, in the purpose that He wants you to have in your family, in, in your life. Amen? Kasi ang Panginoon lang, He is so perennialist on my, hindi natin makapression ng Panginoon. Amen? At that time, so, so the storm is starting to get stronger and stronger in our lives. The wind is raging, thunder is rumbling. When all the commotion is happening, sometimes we can hear God gentle whisper voice to us. Right? Because we are overwhelmed of our situation. Hindi natin nalalaman may sinasabi na pala ang Panginoon. We barely hear His whisper to the rain, I am with you. Nandito lang ako. Right? Kasi sometimes, di ba pag yung may storm, ang ingay niya, malakas siya, maraming kalampag and everything. But in that storm, 
His voice is there. He's just telling you, I am with you. I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Amen. God is faithful. So a heavy fog set, um, settled us upon the mind. And we seem drowned and smothered in it, covered with cloud. Yung nga, ano na tayo, di ba? Crushed with a load, confused with difficulties, conquered by impossibilities. Sometimes we did not know our own path, nor feel able to bear our own burden. Our God is our comfort. Amen? He is our comfort. Look away from our own conditions to the ever observant, all-knowing God. He is the omnipotent, He is the omniscient God. Amen? And so lays ourselves with the fact that all what's known to our Heavenly Father, walang natatago sa Heavenly Father na, alam niya, He is the all-knowing God. Alam niya yung situation natin. Hindi siya, hindi, hindi nakapikit yung mata niya sa atin. Amen? Nakikita niya ang mga situation natin. Truly, it is well for us to know that God knows what we do not know. We lose our head, but God never closes His eyes. Amen. Our judgment lose their balance, but the eternal mind is always clear. Amen. He knows His plan for each and every one of us, says in Jeremiah 29, 11. He said, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you not to harm you, but to give you hope and bright future. Hindi lang just future eh. Bright future. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Alright. And sabi niya sa song, all, And all I praise you in the strong. And I will lift up my hands for you are who you are. Truly God is. You know? And every tear I cry, you hold in your hand. You never left by my side. And though my heart is torn, I will press you in the storm. So at that moment, kahit na yung puso ko, parang yung nagturo ko nga na talagang yung parang, ano ba yung nire-re, parang, ano yung nire-re, 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 ano yung and I will praise Him. I will never, He said, I will never cease to give you praise. I will never cease to worship you. Amen. And number three, and when we are facing the storm, we have to remind ourselves that our confidence is in Him. Amen. Our confidence is not in our job. Our confidence is not on the things of this world. As it says in verse 39, He got up and rebuked the wind, and he said to the waves, Quiet, be still. If God can do that to the wind, if God can say to the, to the waves to be still, how much more to, uh, to our situation? Because God loves us. He created us according to His image and according to His likeness. If we are such a precious treasure in His sight. How much more are us as His children who serve Him, who love Him? can do something for our situation. And in Psalm chapter 57 says, um, 1, Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Far in you my soul take refuge. Alam mo yung refuge? Refuge, hindi ba yun yung, yung, um, yung a place of security? A place where you could find ano, um, uh, peace. Kaya nga, hindi ba yung may mga refugees? Because there is some, you may mga wars or may some mga countries, they go to a place that they could take it as a, their, as a refuge, di ba? Kasi doon sila feel safe. You know what? So God is our refuge. You know, we could always run to Him as a refuge. He is our shelter. So sabi nga doon, the righteousness run to it and they will be saved. Indeed, God, God will save us. Well, in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. Ang ganda, di ba? Usually kasi, pag yung sabi na, I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings and until the, until the disaster has passed, ang nangyayari nun, no, kasi you allow, you allow God to go before you. You allow God na 
uh, to do His things for you. Hindi, hindi yung ikaw na uunya sa Panginoon. Hindi yung ikaw ang gumagawa ng paraan sa sitwasyon mo. But you allowing God to do something in your situation. You allowing God na to take you into that journey no matter what. Amen? Kasi kaya naman tayo ginadala ng Panginoon in a certain journey kasi meron siyang ibinibil sa atin. Meron siyang pinapassion sa each, in each and everyone kaya tayo ginadala sa journey na yon. Naintindihan nyo? Amen? And tapos sabi niya, Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy na nga. For you in my soul, take refuge. I will refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. So after that, natapos na yung sitwasyon na yun. Now I got really, really sick. I was very sick na. I could hardly move. Uh, yung, uh, um, there are times na uh, I can't hardly breathe. Yung kabrasong lakad ko lang, nagkakatch na ako na na. Out of breath na ako. <sighs> Ganyan na ako. And then, um, yung pala, um, ayun, my, my, my heart would be pumping so fast pabilis yung ayun ah, pang pinya parang nakipag-marathon ako ganun kalakas yung yung, yung yung palpitations ko and I was bleeding so heavily um, na, na na yung hemoglobin ko it was very low kaya yung ganun na ako mag-breathe kasi yung, yung red blood cells natin siya yung nag-apapat ng oxygen natin no? sometimes parang ang sakit-sakit na ng ulo ko kaya pala wala ng oxygen yung ulo ko or I could uh, sometimes I will drag my leg kaya pala wala na yung oxygen sa leg ko yan because yung, yung I would bleed so so hard na para bang may massacre para bang yung may sinaksa and this is literally like that na pag yung ano makikita mo yung nagbo-blood yung blood na mag-ano mag, na lang overflow or I would take a shower I couldn't get out of the shower because the bleeding wouldn't stop yeah it just keep flowing and flowing and flowing so the doing it Pastor Henry will wrap yung paper towel and then it will put para yung to stop it so I could step out from the bath tub so I could dry myself or otherwise talagang it will overflow and and and, and then And yet, even though I was suffering those kind of conditions, I was still continue working. Nag-work pa rin ako, and I was still continue serving God in the ministry. Hindi ako nag-stop. The only time na, na wala ako sa church kung talagang nasa emergency na pala ako. Yeah. Up to the point na I would have blood transfusion almost every month. I could have a blood transfusion this evening, the following day, wala na yung dugo ko, and more two cc's ilalagay na naman sa akin and it come to the point that it was very very dangerous already but at that time na na I, I was so sick sometimes na magte-test kasi I used to work with the public health I, I test babies here yun ang trabaho ko habang nagte-test ako ng hearing I could, I, all I could see is nagmamak na yung dugo sa sa pants ko and then good thing na lang yung clinic ko I have my own I have my own uh, washroom I don't need to run out sa, sa hospital to find a washroom I could just say excuse me papasok na pag inubat ko na yun oh yung, yung blood nandudun na talaga and it's flooded na and um up to the point na sa emergency kilala na kami ng mga nurses in in Canada bago ka ma, ma, ma-attend ng doctor you have to go to triage kasi ina-assess mo na nila yung situation mo according to your situation kung sino yung mas severe yung situation yun muna ang i-attend nila at that time hindi, kasi because naging irregular na kami, we don't need to go through the triage. Pag nakita nila yung face ni Pastor Henry, he will say, the nurses will say, you know where to go, just go. That's how bad my situation was. And my doctor told me, Mindy, you know what? Uh, I'm so scared that you are just going, you are going to just drop dead. Kasi sabi niya, you know what, you're, 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 you're. she's so afraid that all my system will shut down. My heart will just stop. I will have a uh, um, cardiac arrest, and all my system will shut down, and I will just drop dead. And then when I when I got healed, the doctor said, the, the specialist said, Mindy, there is no other way. We have to take your uterus out, or otherwise, you know, it's very dangerous already with your health. And when that time came, I have to make a decision. Because my husband and I we were trying to have a baby. Uh, from the moment we got married, we tried to get, we tried to have a baby. Uh, we went through a specialist.
So I had three in vitro fertilization. It didn't. It was. It wasn't successful. And um, imagine for a mother who's been trying to have a baby, then especially will say, "I have to take your uterus out. There's no other way. This is the only way for you to get healthy again." Imagine that. And he said, "You talk to your husband and make a decision, but." Don't prolong because your your life is at stake at this very moment. So I was so we decided, okay, let's just do it. And I was driving from Toronto to Mississauga. My daughter is in Mississauga, and it, it was quite a drive. So I was driving and I was crying and I was crying and I was crying. And I said, God, I said, you know, you know, you you know my desire. I really desire to have. You promised me. You show it to me. You show it to my dream. You have given me a vision. You are giving me a, a baby boy, and now I'm going to make a decision. It's so so difficult for me to make a decision. Lord, if I'm going to take, if I'm going to make a decision now for for my specialty to take my uterus, then I don't have hope. Because then you know hope. Because you know by battle. Then again, the Lord spoke to me, but I am your hope. I am your hope. There is nothing too difficult for me. You know, there is no hard. There is nothing too hard for me. You know, sometimes nakapish yung atin yung hope natin sa mga tangible things, the things that we could hold on. But God is our hope. All we have to do is anchor our hope in Him. All we have to do is just put our trust in Him. That's the only thing that we could do. Sometimes your faith, nothing. Your problem is so big, but the faith becomes so small. But I will just want to encourage you this morning. Let's just put our hope and trust in God. All we could do is put our trust in Him. Because it's up on here. If we're going to really understand, if you sometimes I say to Lord. Help me, Lord, to understand these situations. But sometimes we don't need to understand. All we have to do is allow God to work in our lives and just put our hope and just put our trust in Him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, so those things happen. I got here. Praise God. And you know what? The, the, my doctor said to me, "You know what, Mindy? I'm so surprised." You're so tiny, you're so petite, and you know what? You're still standing, and you're still, you know, went to work even in spite of all those illnesses. You know what? My answer to my doctor was, you know what? It is by the grace of God. And I was a healthy eater. I'm very particular of what I eat, and I said that because I'm, I'm a healthy eater also. But the doctor will not recognize the grace of God. They will look at oh because maybe you're a healthy eater, you exercise and that's why you're healthy. That's why you're standing right here, right here, right now in front of me. But I still believe it is the grace of God. Amen. It is only by the grace of God. And I could tell when everyone, when when everyone is praying for me, like uh, I could feel, I could feel in my spirit. Pag yun nati pray na yung mga brethren for me. Pag yun may sakit ako, Pastor Henry will say, please pray for. For Pastor Mindy, she's at the hospital right now, and I could tell, I could say to him, Mahan, you know what? I could feel that they're praying now, and you know what? You are not alone in your situation. We have each other. We have each other as brother and sister, as a family in God. Amen. That we could lift up prayer and petition on your behalf when you need help, and God will answer our prayer. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And um. Confidence is a strength that comes from knowing that God has chosen you and equipped you for everything in life today. It doesn't matter what you may be facing. You can find confidence in God. Know this: for every challenge, God has a solution. At one time, Pastor, via Pastor Happy and Pastor Nap, Amen. So one time we have a guest speaker, Pastor Happy and Pastor Nap came to Toronto Church and they share. The word of God, and during the altar call, prior to that Sunday, it was Wednesday. I will never forget this Wednesday. I said to God, I said, Lord, I'm not, I'm not complaining, but I just want to ask you a question. Then I asked him a question, and I said, 
Lord, this and this and this and that. And then Sunday came. And it was an altar call. It was, you know, just like the Holy Spirit, like, just, you know, uh, uh, lead me for the altar call. So I stand there and I was praying. And then, you know what? Pastor, I am um, happy when he, she was about to pray for me. All of a sudden, all my question, all my question, she answered it. The Lord answered it through her. I said, you think? I said, because I was asking, God, you said this. You know, you said, you said uh, for me to give up this. And I said, you know, I'm not complaining, Lord. I'm just asking questions. Is it okay, Lord, to ask you question? When I pray sometimes, I just casual with the Lord. I pray like that. And then, and then, and then Pastor Happy said, you, you think, you know what? You could, you could outgive me. You cannot outgive God. I know you give and you give. You, you give all your resources and everything. I know them all. I, I see you. I see your sacrifice. I see I see what, what you have given away. But you know what? I'm going to bring it back to you. You know what? I'm not... I, I, I was crying. It's not because the Lord said He will give it back to me. I was crying because He is real. I know He's real. I know from that moment that God answered our prayer because my question has been answered through her. So you know what? When you pray to God, don't lose heart. You think that hindi pa right away you don't get answer? Just continue. Be faithful in your prayer and your petition to Him because He's an answer in God. Hindi sometimes He will use other people for you to to realize God is really real in our lives. Amen. Never stop there. But all we have to do is trust God. And all we have to do is put our confidence in, in Him. And all we have to do is believe God is God and He is in control in our situation. And all we have to do is put our hope and trust in Him. Amen? And amen. My storm did not end there. There are more trials that came to our way. But you know what? I choose to lift up my eyes unto Him. Who, where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. The one who makes the heaven and earth. You know what? He lavish us so much with His love. With His love. As far as the heaven is so above, great is, our, is, great is His love towards us. As far as the east from the west, great, you know, so far He has taken our transgressions from us. How much more we could ask from Him? He has given His only begotten Son. We, you know what? We complain. We, we, we murmur in regarding our situations, our storm. Yet God did not withhold His only begotten Son. He gave His Son to each and every one of us so that we could have life and have more everlasting, everlasting life. And you know what? He came here to give us life and more abundantly. And you know what? He never stopped there. You know what? He, he, he saved us not because to give us a ticket to heaven. No, He saved us because He wants us to achieve His kingdom. He wants His kingdom to be established in each and every one of us. Amen. So I just want to come, uh, did, uh, encourage you this morning. In conclusion, storms come and go. It could be just passing by or here to stay and destroy our environment. But do not be alarmed. In Isaiah chapter 51 verse 6 says, Lift up your eyes to the heavens and look at the earth beneath. For the heavens vanish like smoke, the earth will wear out like garments, and they they who dwell in, in it will die like a man, like in like manner, but my salvation will be forever. And my righteousness will never be dismayed. In Psalm chapter 46, verse 1 to 3, God is our refuge and strength, a, ve a very pleasant, present help in troubles. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth gives away, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, through the mountains tremble at its swelling. Ah, uh, this in control. Amen. When you walk through the storm, hold your head up high. And don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of the storm is a golden sky and the sweet silver storm of love. And the song say, walk on to the wind. Walk on to the rain. Through your, though your dreams be tossed and blown, walk on with hope in your heart, and you will never walk alone. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So this morning, I want to open the altar.